Okay, straightforward tech care with another one. And I haven't been uploading lately because my PC has been restarting and I quite couldn't figure out why until lately. And so we're gonna go over today why my PC has been restarting as well as some of the things I looked into to figure it out and some troubleshooting tips for you guys, as well as maybe this might be the issue that you're having too. So some backstory about this first off, I've been utilizing the same PC for the past, you know, however long now with my 5900X and my 3080. I've been getting random PC restarts, whether it's just overnight when it's mining or whether sometimes when I run some sort of benchmark, it would end up crashing and my PC completely restarts. These are some of the prerequisites that I did at the start. And then as well as the, some of the steps I have done in order to troubleshoot the issues here and my final solution at the end of this video. I would download HW Info, which is basically hardware monitoring information that reads out some CPU temperatures, GPU temperatures, the different voltages that your computer is supplying to it, as well as it gives you the clock speeds of both your CPU, GPU, and even your RAM as well, and, and what's being supplied by your motherboard and fan speed. So it gives you as much information as you overload about the hardware that you have in your PC. Secondly, I would download MSI Afterburner. This is a nice handy uh, third-party program tool. Either help you overclock or undervolt your GPU, but we're not gonna do that here. We're gonna use this for the overlay to help read out some temperature information while we're running some benchmarks. Speaking of benchmarks, let's download Unigen Heaven or R23 Cinebench basically. So having a benchmark gives you a baseline of what your CPU and GPU can do. So to make sure that nothing's going funky with it, as well as kind of stress testing a little bit of it to see if your temperatures of your components are okay along with hardware info. So with those out of the way, let's get into the first few steps. The first one being, I would look at the drivers, updating any drivers that you have, updating the BIOSes, and making sure you remove all of your overclocks or undervolts in your CPU or GPU or BIOS at all. Just completely remove them. So updating the drivers and removing any settings that you have. So completely stock bare bones as much as you can make it. I would have just left the computer on overnight because it was crashing whether it was sometimes being benchmarking or whether it was mining, so it would crash overnight. But what I did was completely turn off all those overclocks and undervolts while mining and completely just turn off the mining itself. I would just leave my PC on idle overnight and it was fine. It stayed up on live for a day or so, so I didn't really care. And that part was the first check for me to make sure that it wasn't anything with just the CPU or GPU by itself being idle, crashing on its own. And that was fine. The next, run some benchmarks, it would crash while benchmarking. So I was like, okay, so maybe it's a power draw issue. So what I did next was, because I have a hungry card, I have a 3080 with a 750 watt PSU. What I did was add a third PCIe power, eight pin power cable to it directly, because essentially I went and per picked up an extra set from the, uh, for Corsair SFX cables, and I would add an additional, because right now the 750 watt PSU only gives you two of these. However, one of them to get daisy chain in 3080, and then the third one would be plugged in normally. So what I ended up doing was picking up a third cable and just being three cables coming from the PSU into three eight pins for my GPU and see if that resolved the issue. So running the benchmarks, those passed and my computer did not crash. So on two cables, benchmark would crash. However, now going back to mining, it would crash overnight after, I don't know, it would be random intervals, It'd either be six hours, 12 hours, 24 hours. There was no differentiation of when it would crash or why it would crash. So I figured, hey, it might not be the cables itself. And then lastly, what I did was, and this was the big, big one here. I checked all my cables and noticed that the cable coming from the PSU was a little bit singed. And I noticed, hey, what the heck? This is not normal. So I reached out to Corsair and they're like, that's definitely not good. I basically swapped in a new PSU. <laughs> I'm not sure whether it's something faulty with this PSU itself, Corsair's SFX 750, 
but maybe the power draw was a little bit too much while mining or for whatever the reason may be, the cables was basically drawing too much power and overheating the cables, right? Because if one side is daisy chained, and if this is only going to the PSU, it could be drawing too much power through to the single cable and burning out. So ultimately, Corsair decided that, hey, I'm eligible for an RMA. So thanks to them, I'm going to send this in, send this unit in and get a brand new one. So I'll update this video or update the comments down on the section below for when I get that. In the meantime, I picked up a Corsair V850 SFX Gold. So I'll swap that in and that's been working pretty well for the past couple of days. I haven't had any issues with it so far, whether it's mining or doing some benchmark testing. And same thing with the V850 SFX from Cooler Master. They only provide two of these PCIe cables also. So I am daisy chaining one of them too. So I hope it's not gonna be an issue, but I would love if the PSUs would provide three of these so I wouldn't have to daisy chain them basically. So all in all, burn cables. Check your cables first. At the end of the day, this was very insightful and eye-opening to me because I've decided to go back on saying that, hey, maybe a 750 watt PSU is good enough or this could be a faulty PSU. Granted, I haven't had any issues with the 850 PSU yet. So I definitely want to run two tests with the 850 versus the SF750. So if you're interested in that, definitely drop a comment down below as well as do make the video, I'll put it up here somewhere. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.